everyone okay so today we're going to be touching up my roots um, I did not touch them up when I first dyed the hair this has probably been oh we, we're pushing almost three weeks and the color is still pretty true I'm gonna do a, a maintenance video very soon if you all want to see that let me know down below uh, basically what I'm using today is the L'Oreal Excellence High Color Highlights for dark hair since I'm just doing my roots. My roots are very dark. Uh, like I've said before, I've dyed my hair for a very, very long time. <laughs> so I've been dyeing it since I was a teenager. So yeah. But this is the color red. Red, come on. Red. And I mean, come on, it's easy red. And then I'm mixing it with a 20 volume cream. This is what I always use when I bleach my hair. And when I'm bleaching my hair, uh, it, it um, takes seven stages. It's, uh, it's uh, you all can, I'll put the link down below for the blonde hair. But anyway, I'm so rambling. So uh, 20 does my blonde really well in about 30 minutes. So I know that this hair will probably take less time maybe. maybe. Maybe only leave it on for 20 minutes. We shall see. But I mixed um, the color and the, t the cream together and then I added a little bit of the protein filler. This helps thin it out too. And I just mix, um, I'm not going to say equal parts. I think it's like about two ounces and this is like 1.2 ounces, something like that. But anyway, I get this consistency pretty thick honestly so hopefully I'm not going to have to thin it out or anything. Um, I do have a small brush so definitely need that and I mixed it with a little whisk and uh, the red is very it's very thick very chunky almost and so it is a little harder to mix okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and start like this I'm not gonna do it like I do my blonde because um, this is just I mean it's dark on dark so it, honestly it shouldn't be too much trouble so I'm just gonna be applying it all to my roots I'm getting ready to go to a uh, um, a Christmas party in a few days, so I definitely need to have these roots touched up really well. It's my husband's work, so it's a big deal. They always do a big, huge, huge bash. So make sure you get really good. All right. And I'm taking a rat tail comb and just starting to do layer upon layer. Y'all see this all the time. Y'all get the point, I would think. You can hear the TV going. I'm sorry if that bugs you all. I'm not big on white noise. Or I guess I'm, I am big on white noise. I'm not big on uh, no noise. I like something going on in the house. We're not very environmentally friendly, but it also drowns out the noise so the dog doesn't freak out over the tiniest little anything. He's such a big baby. Okay. This is really, really simple. I'm even going to get to the back too. And I've already parted off some of my hair from the base, uh, from the dark, so that I don't even have to touch that up. If anything gets kind of moved in that way, it's not a big deal. Again, I'm not leaving this on very long. This is just great because you're kind of coloring your hair and lightening it at the same time. I thought I was going to have to use more product, but I, so far I've only used one. And really work that in. I usually kind of run my fingernails kind of through it just to make sure all of that gets really good because you don't want any of that to show see how I've done that just kind of went to almost like a C or an L okay and I'm just picking up probably maybe a half Half an inch, something like that. Okay. You could use this product if your hair is dark all over and you wanted to try this. Definitely try it out for uh, all over the hair. But like I said, I would probably start on the roots and work your way down. Okay, very, very 
simple. Definitely pick up your rubs and all that because you're probably going to experience fallout maybe like draw you know little drips and stuff so you don't want any of that to happen. If you need to you can apply a little Vaseline or something. I'm not a big Vaseline fan. Personally I think Vaseline is not very healthy. So I don't usually do Vaseline. Okay. But you could use like an oil, like coconut oil or something like that if you want to go a little bit healthier. Usually that's what I have in the house is coconut oil. Okay. Super easy, super easy. I'm already getting down to this, to this side. Yep, I can already feel it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and undo that just so I can get as far as I can. See, I've got it clipped. It's not a big deal. Do I look like Jessica Rabbit right now? I do have purple. <laughs> purple gloves. Okay. Anyway. Alright. Super, super easy. Sure don't get too much and I have so much product right now you should see how much I have left but make sure you use enough um, if you were going to do your whole head it just depends on the length but I would definitely do probably two bottles right now I haven't even used half yet again kind of rub through in case you've missed any spots when you have blonde hair, you really notice it if you have dark roots, if you missed a spot. My husband has actually pointed out, oh, you missed a spot, you missed a spot. So I'm like, oh, man. So I'll go and I usually do not um, wash out my bowl until after I've dried my hair just to make sure I didn't have any spots. Because if you have any spots at all, you can always just throw a little dye on there real quick, just that one spot. Okay, so this is pretty much as far as I'm going to go down to, as you can see, getting darker. So, all right. Okay. Really easy. Really pretty red. this and pull it over all right it's just like that and then we're gonna fall in that center where we just there we go right in there okay I don't like to put a lot of hair dot on my other parts of my head all right we go. Still tons of product. Makes me so happy. Make sure you get really good. You can, I'll put a, another link down below if you want to work on it uh, in layers. If you, you're afraid you're going to miss any little spots or something. I'll put a video down below to show you one of my tips that I do to keep you from getting, really work that in again. Just like to really work that in the scalp because that's where you're going to get all that especially since this product's a lot thicker I tend to use a little bit more 20 volume with the blonde too I usually mix it till I get the right consistency it's not too thick not too thin but I've been doing it for a long long time well over 10 years so let me know if the lighting's better today. I didn't even bring an extra light in here. I think my camera's funny. The more light I put in here, it seems like the darker it gets, and I think it's really funny. So, 
<laughs> I have like no extra lights in here. In my tutorials, I've been like killing myself. Bright, bright, super bright lights. With my makeup tutorials. Okay. Getting almost done. See how the back is pretty much done because I did like that kind of a C. It's really easy. That way you know, you can actually see a little bit better too when you do it like that. Getting good. Still tons of product, which I'm very happy about. You can put this under heat. You can totally put this under heat. Sometimes I will. A lot of times when I do my blonde, I won't say a lot of times, all the time. When I do my blonde, I um, always put it in aluminum foil just to kind of hold in the heat. And it really helps go a lot faster. So that's probably why I can do 20, 30 minutes and be done with the blonde. Just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it for you all. And then like right after that what I'm gonna do is um, take that Pravana and put it on. Probably for an hour. And I know you all like to see the fun finished product so this video may take a little longer to edit and stuff since I may actually not be able to get it up today, but we'll see. Okay. Getting there, getting there almost. One bottle definitely does it. With plenty left over. Makes me so happy. Okay. You can get this hair this hair dye at Salad Beauty Supply. I assumed you all knew that maybe not, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm just assuming that you all know, <laughs> but it's not always the case again. Make sure you get in there really, really well. Get into those roots really, really well. Okay, last piece. Okay, see how I've already got some of that dark up top? That's okay though. And this will probably bleed into that dark when I wash it anyway. Alrighty. I don't want to drip any more on my face than I have to. Usually just a wipey does it. And if I see any pieces that need extra loving, I usually kind of go heavy with my dye in the front. Alright. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and let you all go and uh, look for more hair tutorials coming very, very soon uh, with freshly done hair and I'll see you all later. Bye. Okay, everyone. Okay, so this is freshly blown and uh, all this down here I have not touched up with the uh, red Pravana yet, the Chroma Silk. So, but I wanted to show you all my roots. Uh, they are a little bit of a darker color. But it's only because the Pravana is fading and the Pravana is like a semi-permanent. I want to say it's a demi-permanent, honestly. Just because it holds so well. But, as you can see, and my hair is still kind of wet, but as you can see, it's not too much of a different color, especially once it's blown. Um, it is a little darker. I could have left it on longer. I only left it on for 20 minutes. So, uh, because I want my roots to be a little darker, just so when it does uh, come out, it will gradually, it won't be, it'll be more of a gradation than it will such a bold, um, intense root. So, but hopefully you all enjoyed this and uh, look for lots more videos coming really, really soon. And yeah, um... Hopefully I'll get another video out in the next day or two and uh, maybe uh, do the Pravana, I'm not really sure yet. My color is still pretty good. 
It's got a little bit of a carrot color to it, just slight, slight, um, but only something that I noticed. It's just not as as intense as that uh, Pravana red was. It was more of a pinky red. So now it's just getting a little bit, a little tad bit lighter, but not a lot. But yeah, look for more videos coming really, really soon. I'll see y'all later. Bye.